Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, I'll stop because that's really high pitched, even for my low ass voice. Hello, and welcome to your May reading for this current year. That's probably my husband, or a flying lawnmower, one of the two. So I should title yours, car or flying lawnmower. That would be interesting. I like naming weird things for you guys. Um, are you dealing with a breakup or possibly not being in synchronization with somebody you love? Possibly Gemini. That sucks. But yeah, this is your May reading for this current year. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You might be putting your energy in the wrong places, by the way. Just making that clear. Or you're dealing with somebody who just... Ugh. Right? Right. Um, if you want a personal reading, my email facebook page and my instagram all that's down in the description below choose whichever one you want i'll also be doing a live stream tonight where i'm going to be doing soulmate stuff and i'll take questions too i'll probably end up doing it up here but i'm not entirely sure yet i'm not sure where i'm going to do it actually but you can join me it's going to be like seven eight o'clock eastern standard time Let's start with this one. Oh, what the fuck, dude? I really hope this isn't just you in general, but this could be dealing with a Capricorn right here. The devil. Then we have Ten of Wands reverse in the wants and wishes. The sun reverse in the fears and rejections. Six of Cups reverse in the situation. Ah, lovers again, and what's going against you? And then, the hanged man, needing to surrender because you're at a crossroads. As the catalyst, as well as the final result, the beginning and the end, it brings all full circle. The beginning theme is Princess of Pentacles, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Someone's talking shit. No, my love. I'll be down in a few. I'm on my last one. Wait. Yay. Okay, so. Let's see what's up with you. Oh, wait till you turn on the computer. Alright, so. We got the devil up here. Could easily be Capricorn, but it could also just be the vibration of two people together. Who probably, um not the best that they're together or it, it could almost even be you Pisces where you feel like you're just resonating negative energy because I almost feel like that I almost feel like that would be more of like your vibration right now more than a Capricorn or just you're in an unhealthy relationship that doesn't serve you anymore like I feel like this is definitely some sort of bias and this is why someone's like snooping it's like someone's out looking for all the wrong reasons right just trying to make their own minds up by what they find rather than having something they find make their mind up right we got the home so behind closed doors two people just don't vibe together anymore four of wands six of cups you're taking something from the past and going to the future with it you're not resurrecting something or you're calling a bad judgment call or you see something that's not no bueno no bueno almost like if there's something in the past to resurrect it's it's like the situation is not allowing it or you're not allowing it one of the two now with the ten of wands ooh, okay someone is feeling stagnant in their burden and this might be you pisces or it could be a cancer or a scorpio where you're trying to put on your best face despite the fact that you feel completely stuck and there's no way to let go of this burden right Like, you're still trying to offer your love up in this relationship, even though it's really not even serving you anymore. It's causing you more pain than anything, you know? Like, she's over here aiming her cup at the house. Or you're trying to invade someone's house. I don't know. I don't think you're invading somebody's house. Um, but it's like you're trying to offer it to this dude who you're already in a relationship with, and it's like... Or whoever is more um, the masculine and the feminine in this shit, right? Because it really doesn't matter. But, um... It's like you're trying to offer your cup 
offer your love in a situation that's just way more stagnant than what it should be. And like with the love or reverse down here, this is the challenge going against you, right? Like could be with a Gemini, but there's definitely some sort of a um, breakup here or some separation between two people when it comes to love. You're trying to stay secure, even though like that's right here hanging on. Like, hey, you want to go this way? There's plenty of fire, right? <laughs> Which is like... Yeah, it's almost like you trying to be secure is like death leading you to a burning house and you're not even looking. You're too busy worrying about what you're protecting to notice where things are going. But then again, you guys always tend to see like the opposite sides of stuff. So I have to respect that. So if you see any of this in a more opposing way to mine, I would like to hear it from you guys. Because usually Pisces, you guys are really good at seeing things for a different point of view. I have to say. Sometimes along the lines of death, and I don't know what it is about death with you guys, but it's, it's cool, man. At least you guys are communable. Um, the sun, reverse. Not feeling in sync with your happiness, not feeling happy. Could be dealing with a Leo, possibly, because I like to count their card as that, too. Um, what you're rejecting in theory is that you're being left out in the cold when you want to come back in. Like, you're not happy. Um, you want to see if someone's going to come for you or if they'll let you back in because you're tired of being left out in the cold. You know, you're not happy in that position. You're afraid of being in that position. You rebuke that position. Like, I could ask for the Lord, but I'd like to come in, please. You know? The hanged man right here. This is a crossroads. This is the beginning and the ending. What started most of this, right? It's time to surrender something. It's time to let go of something and figure out which way you want to go. You, you have plenty of time. I'll let you know that. Like, it's not like he's reverse right here where all your valuables are going out. You have plenty of time. All of your stuff is still secure. Um, you're just losing a little bit of stuff in comparison to what you will gain later. Oh. Well. The tower's reversed. Like, someone's already hit the ground. The other person has not yet. But the way they're falling is going up towards not wanting to feel left out in the cold anymore. Because they're not happy. So it's like, this might be you, Pisces. Crosswalkers cause could also be you as well. But it might be a sensation where you're trying to figure out what to do at this crossroads in order to avoid the tower. Because you know it's going to lead to you feeling left out in the cold and unhappy. That's some horse apples. You're just doing your best, man. Yeah. Um, all this dissatisfaction is leaving somebody feeling like they need to be snooping and justifying why they're unhappy. But their but their justifications for looking for it, all the information they're trying to get isn't satisfying them. And it's leaving them more bitter and unhappy. It's like, like, they're not happy in this relationship with the family or whatever. So they're going and looking for stuff. But then they get mad because they don't find anything they're looking for. So it's almost like they're trying to gossip to put stuff out there. What are your three cards? Okay. Yeah, don't stop offering your cup. This for, I, I feel like whoever this is you're dealing with, like they just don't have the love in it anymore. But I feel like you're still trying to bleed a, a, a tree in order to get something. Like, produce alchemy into this tree in order to make things grow when it's been dead for a long, long time. Oh, this is, like, sad. Like, Capricorn's reading made me fucking pissed off. And then, like, yours is just like, oh man, like... No, oh, that's sad. And whoever is, like, the person in power right they are being so greedy and you know it because you're begging them and they just aren't letting you have anything and it's just kind of like you know it's like this person like no matter how much love you offer with your cup they aren't offering anything you're trying to take something out of nothing while this person is holding back everything from you mind you this is like financial so is like the seven of pentacles because they're pentacles right earth material shit like that even spirit right but it's like somebody knows that they don't have love anymore and they're sitting there just watching you try to work your magic to make something happen and, and they still are just like no you don't get nearly as much as i think you deserve in fact i think you deserve a quarter of a half of what you actually deserve i'll keep the rest you know kind of like that 
I feel like this person's kind of a douchebag and it's hurting you. Cross watchers, same thing. So just think accordingly, right? But that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps you out. And I hope to see you guys tonight in the live stream. See you later. Goodbye.